Yan. Cute na ba? <laughs> okay. Para mas warm. Hello everyone! It's your friend once again, Marlon Flores. Thank you for watching another vlog of mine. Hello! Welcome to the Fili Philippines! Welcome to the world! De ito na nga guys! Welcome to another vlog of mine. How are you? How's everything? If you want you know, some catch-up, message nyo lang sa baba. Comment down below kung ano mga pinagdadaanan nyo. And babasahin ko pag after nito. Pag may time. I will promise. Comment! Anyway! So, ito na naman po tayo sa another tips and tricks that I wanna teach you guys on your well-being. Oh, ayan. Yung last video ko, last, last vlog ko, I talked about how to have an exceptional 2020. And if, you know, sinunod nyo yung mga, ano ko, mga tips ko, eto another tip na naman for you guys. Okay! So, very important to kasi kay, alam mo, it took me how many years to learn this. And so, I wanna share it with you guys because it really works. And it's healthy for you. It's good for you. Sabi nga nila, healthy doesn't just mean physical. It means dapat healthy ka physical, mental, spiritual, and yun na yun. <laughs> Ang dami ko pa sasabihin. Yun lang pala tatlo. So, kailangan healthy yung mind mo, yung spirit mo, and yung physical mo. So, exercise, um, in terms of mental, kailangan um, you know where your, your your state is at. Alam ko ba't mo nararamdaman yung mga, mga bagay? Kasi di ba marami sa... Lalo na mga girls, yung mga red days natin. Hindi natin alam kung bakit natin nararamdaman lahat ng nararamdaman. O, di ba? Ang drama. So, kailangan din natin mabalance yun. And syempre, the spiritual life. And ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon is how to stop stressful thinking once and for all. Itigil na po natin. Paano ba? Kasi ang dami nagtatanong parang lagi na lang akong stress. Anong kailangan kong gawin para nako ma-manage ko tong lahat? Good thing, meron pong solusyon. Yes! Thank you, Lord. Pero solusyon. Okay. Number one. Punta na tayo sa number one. First one is facts over feelings. Very important, especially with women. Lahat tayo may fear, di ba? And you know, fear is not necessarily negative. Because fear alerts us na may mangyayaring masama. So actually, tinutulungan tayo ng fear para mag maging careful. And that is a good thing. So wag natin agad tignan yung fear as a bad thing, okay? So first, isipin mo, fear is a good thing. But the problem is, meron tayong tinatawag na real fear at false fear. Yung real fear, yun yung, okay, nandiyan na si kuya, puputuloy na niya yung kuryente natin. Totoo to, wala tayong kuryente. Let's go, matakot kayo. Pero parang meron kasing mga natatakot na, naku, paano kung di na ako magka-boyfriend? Paano hindi ako magka-asawa? Paano kung di ako magka-anak? Hindi pa naman nangyayari. You're just creating fear in your mind. So that is the false fear. So kailangan natin malaman facts over feelings. Kasi merong mga totoo at merong mga hindi totoo. So dapat ang confidence natin sa truth. Kapag hindi na, kapag umaasa lagi tayo sa emotions, ang emotions natin, it's very fickle. Meaning, paiba-iba. Mamaya, masaya ako. Mamaya, malungkot ako. So, kung aasa ako sa nararamdaman ko, hindi ako makaka... Masasas ako. Kasi may times na, yun nga, have you heard about the word happy? That's why I don't want you guys to teach, like, to teach you guys how to just be happy. Because happy is hapto in Greek. Meaning, happening. It's just dumadaan. Mag-iiba. And we don't want happiness. We want joy. Joy is eternal. Joy is continuous. Joy is there. Even if may problema ka, you can still have joy. That's why, kailangan mong maintindihan muna yung truth. And then you work from there. Your confidence should be in truth. Second natin for to stop stressful thinking once and for all is stop blaming others. Be accountable. And then, forgive yourself. Because other people, we just blame other people sa lahat ng nangyayari. Parang, ah, kasi, nag, ano siya, nag, nag, nag cheat siya sa akin. Or, ah, kasi, ano eh, ang samahan o galing niya. Kasi, lahat na lang sinisi natin. Ah, traffic, ah, ang init. Lahat na lang reklamo. Pero, at the end of the day, tayo naman yung humahawak sa oras natin. Kung ayaw mo ma-traffic, eh di agahan mo umalis. Mas agahan mo pa kaysa sa one hour, gawin mo two hours. Eh di, hindi ka na ma-stress, hindi ka na ma-relate. So, magkaroon ka ng self-accountability. Hindi na lang palaging victim ka. Kasi doon nagsastart pag may victim mentality, doon ka din magiging entitled. Entitled ka for things. Entitled ka na walang traffic. Sino ba tayo para walang traffic? emperor ba tayo? Or hari ba tayo? Hindi. So, lahat tayo, we have to work with each other. And since may traffic, 
adjust tayo. And at the end of the day, if you're accountable, wag mo namang sisihin yung sarili mo na, ah, oh, it's all my fault, I'm wrong. Siyempre, learn to forgive yourself in the process. So, first is, isipin mo, okay, kahit may ginawa sila, meron silang 90%, may 10% ako, aayusin ko yung 10%. And I will forgive for the 10% that I didn't do or I did wrong. Kaya magkakaroon ka ng mas healthy mentality at saka mas may isip mo na kailangan kong gawin yung tama at at the same time, kailangan ko pa rin na maging accountable. And kung may mali, okay lang. Guys, okay lang magkamali. Let's stop pretending, especially in this social media space. Let's stop pretending we're perfect. We're not. Itong nandito sa mukha ko, makeup to. Pag wala akong makeup, may pimples ako. Red stuff and all of that. Kaya may makeup, parang cute. Pero syempre, kailangan nating maging totoo. Hindi tayo perfect. Sorry, we suck sometimes. But it's okay. Kasi dahil, kapag merong falling short, meron ding redemption. So, that's why it's beautiful. Di ba? Third thing for us to stop stressful thinking is you do not deserve everything. We don't deserve anything. Guys, ito na nga yung entitlement. Nandun tayo ngayon sa era of entitled people. Entitled tayo na mabilis yung wifi natin. Entitled tayo na meron tayong iPhone 11 Pro Max. Entitled tayo na lahat ng marami akong followers. Entitled tayo, hindi natin to deserve. Alam nyo ba na pag gumising ka sa umaga, yung matang nakakakita, gift yon Yung nakakaamoy ka, yung nakakahinga ka. Kasi ang daming tao na hindi na gumigising. Ang daming tao na pag gising nila, wala silang makita kasi blind sila. So, everything that you have, it's all mercy. It's all grace. Grace means unmerited favor. Yun ang word na grace. Naririnig yun lagi, pero yun yung meaning niya. Hindi mo deserve. And if you start to think about the things that you're grateful for, the things that are a blessing, Ma, hindi ka na masistress kasi makikita mo na na parang alam mo, mas deserve ko nga masunog ako sa masunog ako ngayon sa araw hindi, meron akong bahay deserve ko na lamigin ako wala, hindi tayo homeless may bahay tayo na safe diba? so, iwasan natin yung pag-iisip na deserve natin lahat because we don't and this is all a gift and from that, you will see everything as a blessing <laughs> for us to stop Stressful thinking once and for all. Ito yung very personal for me. And I really want you guys to know that this is up actually not just a thing that I do. But it's actually something that um, it's who I am. It's who I am as a being. And that is to read the Word of God. Um, I want to share with you guys that the Word of God, the Bible, is the most authenticated scripture in the whole world. Bale, before kasi, they have to study manuscripts, meaning wala pa naman kasing serx sa copy before ng mga, mga literature. So, ang ginagawa nila, kinakopya nila. And the scripture has 25,000 manuscripts. Sobrang daming translation. It's tested through time. Okay, funny how people think na religion is just a feeling or religion is just kung saan ka lumaki. Which it can be, but if you really research, that's why I want you guys, yung number one ko kanina is facts over feelings. I want you guys to search for truth, not what you perceive or what you feel like. Kasi pag sinearch mo yung truth, malalaman mo yung totoo. And yung truth na yun ang magiging, magbibigay sa'yo ng confidence to move forward. And reading the word of God, knowing who God is, knowing, knowing who Jesus is, yun lang yung makakapagbigay sa inyo ng freedom to say, you know what? The only thing I need in this lifetime is not to have money, is not to have friends, not to have followers, not to be famous, but to know the creator of who I am. The purpose of my life is knowing and having a relationship with the one who created me. Para lang yung phone. Kung, kung ang phone, hindi mo ginamit yung function niya, hindi yung design niya, walang kwenta yung phone. Kung hindi mo ginamit yung camera, kung hindi mo ginamit, kasi ang nakakaalam nung function ng phone, yung creator. So, si iPhone, si Samsung, nagbigay sila ng function. Kung hindi mo ginamit yung function, masisira yung phone. Ganon din tayo. We have a design. We can see, we can interact, we can have relationships, we can forgive, we can be merciful, we can do all of that because we are created in the image of God. And apart from knowing who you are and who created you, hindi mo masahanap yung freedom mo. You will be stressed all your life. You will be depressed all your life because what, hindi mo alam yung purpose mo. And I think one of the things na, na reason kung bakit ko to ginawang vlog na to is for people to have that sense of security na hindi shallow. Na hindi mo makukuha dahil lang nag-click ka ng video or hindi lang dahil meron ako nabiling thing from this 
uh, website, diba? Ang temporary. I want you guys to have eternal joy and that is only be found in your Creator, in Jesus. And ayoko kung makinig lang kayo dahil sinasabi ko kasi this is how I researched. I researched, I studied, I studied theology. I want you guys to research what I'm saying. I want you guys to learn, study kayo online on your own. I want your faith to be yours. Because I can never share, I mean, I can share you my faith, but it can never be your faith. You have to have your own faith. And search for truth. So, so number one nga is facts over feelings. Know the facts. And I'm excited kung ano yung marireveal sa inyo ng truth. Nakakapit kayo doon. And i-share nyo sa hanyong mga stories nyo. I'm sure marami dito na same views with me. Or if you if you have different views, comment down below. If you have questions, I can try to answer your question. God bless, guys. Remember to seek ye first and to God be the glory. Bye-bye. Uy, comment down below ah. Tsaka subscribe. Like. Bye. Mwah. Mwah.